in the off season is the loneliest place in the world. When you've lived through 10 years of off seasons, it does things to you. Not very nice things, I'm afraid. This is my ranch. Not much of a place anymore. We've been losing money for three years now. I guess that makes me a failure. At least my wife seems to think so. But it isn't just the fact that the ranch is going bust. It isn't just being alone out here day after day, year after year. It has something to do with the feeling you get when you start thinking what's out there, just beyond the groves surrounding us. A vast and cruel world, still, dry, deadly. Slowly withering beneath the white heat of that desert sun. A perfect place to hatch a brood of horror or of hate. Perhaps it began out there, the hate. Something that goes far deeper than angry words. A growing, twisting thing that's slowly destroying us. Carol, we've got to settle. We're sending Sandy to college in the fall. I won't let her go. The money's in the bank. It's going to be used for her schooling. If you want to know the truth, it has nothing to do with the money. Carol, what's the matter with you? We can't keep her here on the ranch all our life. Give her a chance. A chance? I never had a chance. She's your daughter. Do you hate your own daughter? Sometimes when I see her, so young and pretty, with all the best years ahead of her, the years I missed, yes, sometimes I think I do hate her. That's it! Run away! Never get the courage to... Sandy, how long? Sandy, I told you to keep that dog out of here. Come on, boy. I don't suppose it really matters, but... Does anything really matter to you anymore? Well, I'm sorry she heard. I, I didn't mean to. You say a lot of things you don't mean, Carol, but you still say them, don't you? Yes. I'm not easy to get along with, am I? 
Oh, I don't know. I, I think I could stand it, except for out there. All that wasteland and mountains. We might as well be on another planet. Oh, Alan, without Sandy, I, I don't know what would happen to me. It's just you and me and him, always watching. Why doesn't he ever go away on his day off? Always watching us. Heaven knows, thinking what thoughts. We've been over this before. You must know by now he's harmless. I've never been sure. I've got to flood the North Grove this morning. We'll be home for lunch. Is that you? Duke, how did you get in here? It's my fault. Well, it doesn't matter. I taught him how to open the screen door. Where are you going? Swimming. Sandy, there's, there's something I'd... Will you be back for lunch? Do you really care? Come on, Duke. Here, boy. Crazy pilots, always showing off. What's the matter, boy? Oh, it's all right. Why, you're shaking. It's funny, I, I feel sort of shivering myself. Come on, Duke. Let's go home. Stop that. What were you doing up there? You scared me out to death. I'm sorry. I forgot. You couldn't even tell me if you wanted to. You can't even say your own name if you ever had one. Nora. 
Oh, I'm meeting my father in just a few minutes. Do you hear? My father will be here. Go on. Now, where did he go? Duke! Duke! This is not funny, Sheriff. He must have been inches away from the roof. No, I didn't see a plane, but... but... What else could it have been? No, it didn't sound exactly like a plane. There was sort of a humming noise. But there are so many new ones these days. All I know is that all my good glassware and pretty windows are broken. I didn't hear a crash anyway. Well, how do I know? You're the sheriff. Do something. Report it, I guess. People aren't safe anywhere these days. All right. And see you don't forget. Goodbye. Now or later. Get out. Get out! Old Sherry, isn't it, Ben? Oh, time don't matter to Sherry. <laughs> well, just as long as she has enough left for us tomorrow. <laughs> don't you worry, Alan. Ben, did you ever hear of a black birds attacking a man? Oh, why? Just wondered. <laughs> well, to tell you the truth, I wouldn't be surprised anything that happened since that plane went over here. Things have been mighty funny around here. Plane? Yeah. There's, uh, there's that gay mega of mine by him right the cat. Say, Alan, did I ever tell you how I got this leg? Teddy R and me, we was charging up this ridge. Ben, Ben. And there? Ben, uh, about this airplane. Passed over this morning, is it? Well, it sounded like planes, anyway. One of them jets, maybe. But I never knew them come so close. Oh, yeah, I'll tell you about my leg. Concern that cow, that's the second time she's done that. <laughs> Flying machine. <laughs> I know what you mean, Ben. <laughs> Take care, now. Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Drop in. Hi, Dad. Hi, Danny. You been crying? Oh, 
I was swimming and he's been following me again. <laughs> you know he's as harmless as Duke. I guess. Jet. Almost hit the house. All the windows in the living room, too. Doesn't seem possible that an airplane... What else could it have been? Mother, all the glasses and, and your china. I know. Is it... What can I do? You can pick up the glass in the living room. I'll finish this. All right. Uh, this is the limit. I'm calling the sheriff. I've already spoken to the sheriff. He thinks it's a big joke, but he's checking. Carol... Are you all right? No, oh, I'm fine, as usual. Come in. Lunch will be ready in a minute. Tell him to get out. Carol, he's only coming in to eat. I've been through enough today, Alan. I can't explain. Please. What can I tell him? You might as well know right now. I don't want him in this house, now or ever. Carol, he understands you. You understand, do you? Fine. Then get out of my house. Well, go ahead. Say it. You mean say that you shouldn't have talked to him like that? All right, he was wrong. But I wasn't going to say that. Because... Well, I, I think I understand, a little anyway. All your beautiful china, your glasses, they were all you had left from home, weren't they? I, I'd better fix lunch. to check the damage. What's the damage is inside. But sand is on the outside. I'll check the damage later. All right, boy. You're probably out back. Hey, Sandy, where are you? Hey, Sandy, where are you? I wanted to know if you could come over to dinner tonight. It's my birthday. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'll have to check my date book. Ah, who would go out with you? Another one of those goes over this house, we won't have a glass left to drink out of. 
Believe me, Mrs. Kelly, I'll do everything I can to find out what happened. We'll see you later, Dad. Wait till I get my hand on that police siren. Take it easy now, kid. We'll see you at my office. Okay. Ouch. My aching gears. Oh. Well, we'll be home soon. Don't forget that package at the Emporium, Alan. I want to. The lights aren't on. There's another one. Can you, can you manage? <laughs> the way I feel, I could carry them all. <laughs> You're pretty happy over that new dress, aren't you? Oh, it's a dream. Imagine Mom keeping it a secret all this time. She didn't even mention it to me until today. <laughs> Can you manage? Sure. Uh, shut the door for me, honey. Carl, what's the idea of the blackout? I'm right here, Alan. Turn the light on, honey. What are you sitting here in the dark for?
I'm all right, Alan. I'm all right. Oh, what's the matter? I, what happened? It's only a bruise. I, I fainted after. Where's Sandy? Uh, she's coming. Alan, quick. Duke, in the woodshed. Don't let Sandy see him. Sandy mustn't see him. Mother, the dresses. Mother. Sandy, stay here with your mother. There's something. You stay here. What is it, Dad? I'll be right back. Mother? Put the packages in the kitchen, dear. The, the gun on, on the floor in there. It's Duke, isn't it? Something's happened to Duke. I'm going out there. Sandy, no. He's my dog. I have a right. Sandy! like that. And Anne. Did he do it? That's what happened, isn't it? The loony did it. He was using the axe today. That's enough, Sandy. Your mother's been through enough today. Alan, she has a right to know. Sandy, you've got to try to understand. It, it won't be easy. You came home this afternoon, acting very strangely. You! Duke wouldn't hurt anybody. He was so gentle. I remember a baby squirrel I Sandy, had. listen to me. Something must have happened to Duke because... he tried to kill me. Do you understand? There was nothing else I could do. Like that? With an axe? I tried to shoot him. I, I missed. I don't believe you! What? You hate me, don't you? Stop it, Sandy. You don't... Let her go, Carol. She'll never forgive me for this. She shouldn't have said that to you, even thought. Oh, maybe she was right, Alan. Maybe in some strange way the dog sensed it and... Maybe I'm losing my mind. Get out, Carol. You hear me? You're all right. Oh, Alan, there's, there's something awful happening here. As if some power were trying to tear us apart. I know, darling. I felt it, too. When we're together like this, I, I feel strong. We've got to stay close, Alan. We haven't been close in a long time, have we? It's been so long. Huh? Sandy? Coming. 
Well, all right. If you're going to be stubborn, I'll bring a plate out to you. Where have you been, honey? Just walking. I, I found him out in the desert. What were you doing out there? Dad, I I'm not sure. I, I was sitting and thinking, and then suddenly there I was. As if I'd been walking in my sleep. Except for one thing, that humming noise. Oh, Dad, I know I didn't dream that. A uh, humming noise? Yes, I, I remember it starting, and then I blacked out. Honey, this sounds humming noise. Did it sound like the plane this morning? Well, I never thought about it. Yes, o only not so loud, Dad. And you ran into him, and you snapped out of it. How did you know? Uh, something Carol said. The two of you together. I... I'm awfully sorry about what happened this morning, Dad. Never mind, honey. You save that for your mother. Mother? Mother, can you forgive me? I forgive you. Oh, Dad. Whenever you girls decide to break it up, I'm hungry. Good night, all. Good night, dear. Oh, uh, Sandy, I want you to close your shutters tonight. But I won't be able to breathe in there. And lock them, too, baby. Okay. Night. Night, night. You're really worried, aren't you, Alan? Yes, I am, Carol. Especially after what happened to Sandy. First Duke went into the desert, then Sandy, and, and now him. It's almost as if there were some strange force at work. I'm almost afraid to think what might have happened to her if she hadn't run into him out there. You think that made a difference? To both of them. Until Sandy took his hand, he, she couldn't bring him out of it. It seemed that being together made them stronger. Stronger than what? I don't know, Carol. Maybe we're imagining things. Alan, there's more to this than just Duke and those birds, isn't there? You behave yourself, Jerry. Let's 
such a lovely day outside. Much too nice for all these crazy animal revolutions. Carol, revolutions have to have leaders. This plane or whatever it was, well, it just might have brought something along with it. Well, anyway, it brought me to my senses. Sometimes it takes a few healthy shocks for a person to appreciate. Well, it's made me realize. What, darling? Something very important. Something I've needed all these bad years and let myself forget. It's very simple. Merely that I love you very, very much. Oh, Sandy, I must have been blind. This place is a mess. I'll never get it all done. Sandy? These helpless men. Give me some more putty, will you, honey? It's in the kitchen. Dad, I can't get over Mother. The way she's changed. We all have a little. The last 24 hours have been pretty rugged. I feel like I have a family again. Maybe sometimes something like Duke has to happen. Maybe so, baby. You get a wiggle on you. Give me that putty. Job to do. Don't you feel like finishing today? You better drop by Ben Weber's, Alan. He didn't get on this morning. No, oh, Ben probably forgot. I'll stop by on the way home. The shotgun's loaded. You must have dropped this when you changed your shirt. Thank you, honey. All right, let's go. Alan's let him do that. What's that? A cutting off shoes for transplanting. Maybe he just wants to get him out of the house till he's gone. Ever since that plane flew over, he started acting mighty funny, even for him. And then Dad told me about yesterday afternoon. Yes? Mom, that letter, it was to the Veterans Administration. Well, you know your father never talks about the war. But this was a psychiatric division. Well, if we're going to get started on your hair, we better get started. Now, let's see. What's it going to be? An Italian bob or one of those uh, pixie cuts? I believe I'll have the desert special. Well, <laughs> as you say, madame. <laughs> I'll pick you up in a few hours.
Hey, Ben. Ben. Who did this to you? thought it was all over. It's just beginning. I do believe that's Ben Weber's cow. My gosh, it is. <laughs> I wonder how old Sarah made her way over here. I didn't think she had the strength. <laughs> Poor Ben. He's probably looking all over for her. I love that silly beast so. Come on, we'll really have fresh milk today. What do you really think we should, Sandy? You might not like it if... Oh, that old lady. She hasn't had the strength to resist. Come on, I'll get a rope. an emergency. I can't reach Larry. Hello? Uh, no, no message. I want him personally. I want Larry to handle this. Operator, give me Larry Brewster's house. I think the number's 9476. Closing in on us. I think we'd better get out of here. What do you mean you don't know who called? You mean nobody got his name? You better trace that call. Stay in the car. Mom, did you hear what he said? He didn't mean to be harsh, dear. No, I mean before that. He said, it's closing in. As if he meant something else. Something else? Yes. Besides all these, these animals, something or someone, bigger, 
Oh, I don't know. It's just the way he looked when he said it. I really got scared. Not like before. Just as if there were something more at stake. Yes, it's... Uh, I don't know. It's... Well, here's Alan now. He's alone. He's gone. Carol, drive into town. Get Larry and tell him to bring some men. What about you? I'm going back to the house. He may be there. He may think we've deserted him. We'll all drive back together. There isn't time. What do you mean? Carol, I don't know. I, I actually don't know. But I want you and Sandy where it's safe. My place is with you. Your place is where it's safe. I don't care. That's I... right, Mom. Somebody's got to go for help and... We'd only be in Dad's way. He... I don't know what's right anymore. All I know is that we should stay together. Sandy, you better drive. Hop in. I just think we ought to be together. Come on, honey. No, Carol. Get started, Sandy. Started. Where's Sandy? Putting on her new dress. It's her birthday, remember? Carol, are you out of your mind? We need help here and quick. Oh, Alan, Larry's no fool. He'll have the call traced. Besides, there's nothing else I could do. I was depending on you. Alan, come out front. I want to show you something. Blackbird. There was one big bird, a, a crow, I think. They must have flown directly to the car. What do you mean? From where? They attacked me in the grove. The big bird, the crow, I think he led them. He flew away, and then they all followed him. I didn't know what it meant until now. Carol, birds can't think. It was weird the way they acted. An animal going mad and trying to kill like, like Duke and Sarah, well... That makes some awful kind of sense, but... Alan, these birds kept attacking us until we were forced to turn the car back. They made us go back, Alan. Oh, it was like a nightmare. It made you go back. It? You said that before. Did you find out anything, Alan? No, Carol. But there's something guiding these birds and animals. I know that for sure. It all started since this plane flew over yesterday. Carol, suppose it wasn't a plane, in our sense of the word. Suppose it landed out there in the desert somewhere for a reason. You mean a plane from somewhere else? Can you imagine anything human in all this? A plane from another world? Oh, Alan, what's it trying to do? What kind of a trap are we in? I wish I knew. Here, right. 
on, Carol. Trying to drive us all insane. Hello. Alan Kelly, huh? Well, connect me with him now. It is? That's funny. Well, I'm going up to Kelly's now anyway. Tell the sheriff where I'll be. Yeah. Yeah, let me know. Thanks. Good night. It's beautiful, Mom. Thanks to you. It wouldn't be a cake if you hadn't turned off the oven. Larry should be here by now. Set a round sick, dear. Give me something to do, Mama. I've got to do something. Well, you can set the table. You'll have to use the heavy mugs. There's not a glass left in the house. What are you trying to do, get killed or something? Well, don't just stand there, say... No, oh, I'm sorry, you can't say anything, can you? What do you want? Not this side, get in the other side. Oh, you want to ride him back, do you? Okay, but get in. I'm late already. Well, I hope you're honored, you two. I don't wear my best duds on every occasion. Something's happened to Larry. I know it. No, Sandy. You know it, too. Both of you. How can you just stand there as though nothing were wrong? Oh, we've got to do something. Maybe she's right, Carol. No, Alan. I'll just drive down to the entrance. Sandy and I'll go too, then. Now, wait a minute. There's no sense. I've been doing some thinking, too. Remember last night when you said this force, this master brain or whatever it is, almost had Sandy? You said she escaped because she met him. Because together they were stronger. That's our strength, Alan. Being together. Alone or nothing. Don't you see? Come on, let's go. Flat tire. That's that. Can't we go on foot? Maybe the birds wouldn't attack us at night. It's too bright. We wouldn't have a chance. No, Sandy. I don't think Larry would want us to go in, Sandy. Come on, baby. Let's go inside. I guess I'd better clean up. I don't suppose anyone wants any cake. Oh. Leave it be, Carol. And I suppose you're right.
suddenly turn up at the darndest times. Where have you been? Everybody's been so worried and looking for you. What's the matter? You look so... As long as you're here, you can help me find Larry. You look the way I feel tonight. I, I guess maybe we better go back. <laughs> Let's go. The let me go. No. Ah! Let me go. No. 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 <laughs> What's the matter, Larry? What happened to you? That loony of yours has gone mad. Are you sure? He tried to kill me in the car. I trailed him out to the desert and finally knocked him out. Where's Sandy? In her room. Why? I thought he heard a scream. <gasps> I can't explain now, Larry. But I think that loony, as you call him, is not fully responsible. Sandy's gone. Carol? The window. You stay here and keep the door locked. Don't open it for anyone but us. set of tracks. You hear what I hear? Yeah. I was afraid of that. Come on, let's get behind these rocks. Look. Nothing moving there. I can't shoot, I may hit her. Hold my rifle. I'll try. Carl. Carl. It's Alan, your friend. Carl. Bring it to me. That's it, Carl. She's my daughter. Oh. I'll give her to me. It's Alan. Give her to me, Carl. No, Larry. It's too late. Let's get her out of here. She's going to be all right. I told you to stay home, Carol. Well, I was so worried you were away so long. I just went to the edge of the grove, and the birds, they came back. The door was open, and they flew into the house. It was horrible. We'd better wait here. Larry, you still want to go through with that? Of course. The birds will be out of the house by now anyway. You get back as fast as you can. I hope you're right about Sandy. I hope so, too, Larry. Sandy, listen to me. Snap out of it. Snap out of it, baby. Dad. Listen, do you remember anything? He was, he was climbing and lights. And then you called it. 
What's that? That thing in the crater. It controls minds, but its power is limited. It controlled him until it killed him. Now it's had you under its control. But we've got you now. And he can't keep you if you fight it, if we all fight it together. That's the thing to remember, we're together. Together, we can defeat it. Understand me, baby. Remember that. If we fight it together, we'll win. Yes, dear. It's happened again. But this time, I expected it, Carol. Now I know something about this thing, this master brain, that I don't think it wanted us to know. What are you talking about, Alan? A few minutes ago, the birds attacked Larry. You let it happen. He'll, that boy. You'll be all right. He can take care of himself. But what about Sandy? What good will do her if help does come? I don't know how yet. But somehow, you and I can help Sandy. This thing controlled him until the very last minute, and I got through to him. And he was killed. Sandy's mind is stronger. This thing preys on minds. First, the weaker minds of the animals. Then him. And now... But is it just our minds, or, or are we stronger because of our minds together, or... We may possess something stronger than our brains. I don't know. Very well, Earthman. Did you... did you hear that, Carol? Where did it come from? I have some secrets, too. I... I think I understand. It's not actually a voice. Well, you think, in my world, only we are allowed that pleasure. But I hear it, Alan. Oh, dear. Your mind hears it. Very well, Earth Man, it seems we must part. I... I don't think we can. I offer you life. Yours and the woman's for the girl. No. Together we're strong, you can't have her. I have no wish to hurt you or her. But if necessary, I can leave her in a screaming oblivion. Insanity. We're powerful enough, Alan. Why are you here? What do you want of us? Your world. Life on my planet is dying out. Or I should say, we have used it up. You see, I and my kind have no material form of our own. And so we must use the bodies of those that do. We, shall I be specific, feed on brains. Unfortunately, they don't last very long. And so we've been reduced to seeking a new world, new life. Emissaries have been sent to many planets in different solar systems. Those that return will decide our new source of food supply. This is somewhat like our own planet, though ours is a dark world. This is a perfect testing ground. Isolated, possessing hate. Hate and madness are the keys to power in my world. And this one seemed easy. But something went wrong. I have invaded the minds of the birds and the animals. Used their brains and eyes against you. Every move you've made has been observed by their eyes. I've waited for you to read it. But you have a secret, Earthman. Some power I don't understand. Instead of weakening, you've all grown stronger. Even the one I was able to control completely. He defied me at the last, and he was sick. He was a victim of one of our wars. Part of his brain was removed. Alan, how did you know? Carol, he was in my unit on Kwajalein. We were out on patrol. I made a snap judgment. I was wrong. He's been paying for it ever since. I had to take care of him. I couldn't let him be laughed at the rest of his life. Oh, Alan, why didn't you tell me? Even now, I sense it. The woman is closer to you, growing stronger. And she was the weakest at first. You've shown me what our strength is. It's not a strength of the mind. It's something far stronger than that. So you want to take the girl with you. You want to test her to find out why we're stronger. Is that it? She'll return to my planet with me. 
No. But why not? After the experiment, we'll all be back. All of us. So you want to know our secret? Very well, I'll tell you. You won't understand it, mind you. As a matter of fact, it just came to me. It's the simplest thing in the world. We call it love. What is that? It's a need within each of us to reach out beyond ourselves. It means you'll never find one of us humans alone. Never one mind alone. That's it, Alan. That's our strength. Each of us is bound to each other. That's what love means. Well, once I remember, long ago, there was something. This is a weakness, not a strength. You're lying, Earthman. I told you you wouldn't understand. My spaceship, as you call it here, is set to leave on the first hour of light. Bring me the girl. No, you can't have her. It's almost done. Yes. He seemed so cold to the last. Then he seemed furious. Once his kind might have been something like us. Before they evolved into these super brains, these monstrosities. They lost something along the way, Carol. For an instant there, he remembered. He knew. I think he remembered he'd lost his soul. Carol, will you bring the rifle? Where are we going? To the crater. Alone? He's alone, Carol. We aren't. But isn't this power stronger out there? Wouldn't we be safer here? Maybe so, Carol. There's a lot I don't understand. Maybe for the same reason, we'll be stronger, too. We'll be closer to it. We can fight. Sand is a part of us, Carol. We can't destroy her without destroying us. I don't think he can do that. There's only one way to find out. off the controls must have been set. Go on, get out.
send to you, all right, Larry? Alan, I thought the brain had no physical being. What about that monster? I guess it had to travel here in some form. Something to handle the ship. It said life was almost extinct on this planet. I guess this is the last survivor. No wonder they were looking for a new world. I just hope that brain is dead, too. I know it couldn't have gone back to the ship because the creature is dead. It has no existence except in a new body. Dad, look! <laughs> eagle around here before? No, what's that got to do with it? Let it go. Don't kill it, Alan. I wonder where it came from. And Alan, there's something else. What killed the creature in the ship? Where did the eagle come from? Why do men have souls? If I could answer that, I'd, I'd be more than human. I'd be... Yes. <laughs> 